All right. Shalom. All praises due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. Double honor to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. All right. Um, it's going to be real brief, you know. Uh, my name's Tyler Yoff from GMS Boston Camp. All right, so I'll keep one set. You know, currently we're going through a so called blizzard here yeah. in Massachusetts. But I just want to give my testimony, you know, because uh, as you can see, the Lord is definitely uh, dealing with the destruction of Babylon the Great, all right? And for months before this, I was noticing in the grocery store that items or being faced and you know when you work in retail or you know that type of uh, business which is uh, grocery stores and clothing stores and things of that nature alright <clears throat> they have this thing that they do call facing and for months and months you know starting a year or two ago I was noticing that items don't go all the way back to the back of grocery store uh, shelves, all right? So, I'm going to fast forward to yesterday, the day before the blizzard. And when I walked in the store, I was just going in there to get some, some water. That's the only thing I wanted was some water and, uh, you know come right out well upon arriving in the store it was utter and complete chaos man should have seen how many people were in the goddamn store man but guess what the store was empty okay the elites have uh how can I say it, have studied demographics, uh, the area where you live in, and they have perfected the plan of starvation, all right? And you could see it, man. I mean, you walk past the, the meat s section, nothing in there, nothing at all, man. It's not enough food in grocery stores to accommodate the masses in one neighborhood, man. Okay? Everybody carriage is uh, filled with shit that they could have bought other days. You got snacks and all that fucking bullshit. Okay? The veggie section for for, you know, all reasons, man. Look pretty good, man. So when you go in the store, if if it was a disaster or something like that, you probably could come out of there with veg veggies, but you know, like fruits and stuff like that, man. Sh shit's empty. Everything was pretty much empty. Okay. You no, know? and it looked just like the scene from um that movie with uh Matt Damon in it, man. I can't think of it right now. Uh, 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 I think it's called Contagion. Contagion. That scene right there. Okay. And these people, these people are dumb, man. You should see them, man. They just like sheep led to the slaughter. And looked at absolutely bunkers in the store, man. Uh, carriages. Carriages everywhere, man. People lined up. Uh, who 
storylines going down hours, man. I got the fuck out of there, man. That's how bad it looked, man. Okay? So, but that put me in the in the spirit of, you know what I'm saying? This is this is what it's going to be, man. This is exactly what it's going to be when martial law comes upon this place. When the time of calamity strikes this place, man. These people are absolutely insane, okay? Women on the news in Boston crying, there's no food left in the grocery stores. Okay, these are old women and young women alike, man. I got kids to feed. I need water. I need milk. You, you see? The Lord is putting the, the kibosh on this place, man. He's taking away that, that, that comfortability away from here, man. All right? I just got a couple of scriptures to go in on. And then I'm going to let it be, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, cause this is the time of judgment we in, and if you don't repent, man, let me let me say this too, man. If you if you know you're an Israelite, all right, the Lord ain't coming back for all of Israel, man. He only coming back for the elect of Israel, all right. He don't give a fuck about all of Israel because all of Israel don't care about him, man. And it's evident, man. The time for slacking is over for you two-third niggas, man. If you ain't going to get it, you ain't never going to get it. And it's time for you to be up out of here. The Lord got plans, man. Like I said, man, it's going to be it's gonna be plagues. It's going to be uh, famine. Like the scriptures say, man. All right? Like all the brothers are saying. Not just me, man. I'm talking about me personally because the people that I'm around on a daily basis, man. I keep on telling them, man. This, this, these things are going to happen, man. And yesterday, I got a glimpse of exactly what Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah has planned for this place, man. All right. And I'm telling you, man, it was, it was like a, a movie scene, how bad it was at the goddamn grocery store, man. All right. Well, let me just uh, get a couple of scripts and then I'm going to close it out. Salaki brothers. It's second Ezra six and twenty two, okay. I just start from the point, man. Second Ezra six and twenty two. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. So, you know, leading up to this time that we in right now, man, you know, uh you could you can go and you know, just go in leisurely, you know, pick up a few things. I never seen it like this. Even in even the the year before the blizzard, in that last blizzard, the year before, okay, or the two years ago, Salaki, I never seen it like this either. But this time it was something to behold, man. Like it was really crazy, man. It looked like a movie, like straight like that. I don't know how to explain it, man. You brothers would have to see it for yourself, man. And the uneasiness in people's faces, man, it, it was like they was getting ready to fight over food, man. The shit was crazy. Okay? Look, man. 
the on sown places shall appear. I mean the sown places shall appear unsown, man. And that's what I seen, man. Nobody comfortable. Like it was like fucking they was geared for war, man. Like ready to snatch bread and crumbs from each other, man. It, oh, it's gonna be terrible, man. Okay. And the storehouse was found empty, man. People that got there late because they got off work late, man. They had to scrounge around and get whatever they could, man. And you could see it, man. Like, people trying to uh, plan out two days worth of snow and get their meals together. Whatever, man. Right there in the aisles, man. It wasn't working like that, man. You had to grab whatever you could get, man. That's why I got out of there, man. I couldn't, I couldn't take it. All right? I just wanted some water to drink. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me go to one more script and then I'm going to close it down. Because there ain't much that we can say now about that, man. But, you know, in these times that we're in, uh, the men, the elect, okay, and the men that's out there pushing this truth, hey, man, our eyes are wide open, okay? While the rest of these uh, doleful creatures, man, eyes wide shut, man. They don't care. Anyways, you know. <laughs> Let me get this in Ecclesiasticus, okay. Ecclesiastes 12 and 3, I'll start from that. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong man shall bow themselves, okay? And the grinders cease, because they are few, and those that look out of the window to be darkened, okay? And that's what you've seen in the faces of these uh, people, man. These, uh, these proud, proud people, man. Their faces look in sheer terror, man, and it's nothing but... A few feet of snow going to come, man. Okay. But when it came down to the food situations, man. Oh, the situation looked bleak to them, man. I'm telling you. Their faces looked like in horror. Okay. Oh, man. I'm telling you, man. It just was... A scene out of the movie. Contagion. Okay. Second Ezra's uh, 16 and 21. It says, Behold, victual shall be so good, cheap upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good cases. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And that's what I seen, man. In that grocery store, man. It was... Yeah, everybody came with money, but guess what? It wasn't no victuals to get, man. Alright? And all this time, man, people been living uh, deliciously here in America, man. He's stopping all this, Okay? And if you can't see that, then then you done. Let me get this last one. Let me get a Revelation eighteen and seven it says how much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously so much torment and sorrow give her for she said in her heart I shall sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow well guess what the Lord got a plan for this all right because like I said this place has been rolling along so long man without nothing scathing it now, the Lord's put his icy grip on hell, man. Okay? And he mean business. He set it on fire over there on the West Coast. And he got... <laughs> man, I'm telling you, man. If this ain't the plan of the Heavenly Father, I don't, I don't know what it is, man. Uh... 
I don't know what is. Okay. And for for all the things that you've been running through the earth doing to everybody else, man, you're gonna get judged for that here, man. You trying to judge other people for what they're doing in their countries. Now the Lord is setting everything up here that you've been judging people for in their countries, man. Because you've been judging unjustly, man. He's bringing it right to your attention here in America, man. You're going to see famine. You're going to see strife of all kinds. You're going to see calamities of all kinds. Okay? Right here in our faces, man. Got another script real quick. Let's see if I can find it though. Salaki, bear with me. I'm trying to find that scripture. This is second Ezra's, uh, Twenty seven and twenty, Salaki, for there be many that perish in the life because they despise the law of Yahweh that is set before them. For God hath given straight commandment to such as came, what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him, but spake against him, and imagined vain things and deceived themselves by their wicked deeds and said of the Most High that he is not and knew not his ways. And that's why he's punishing this place, man. Okay? And it's going to be, it's going to be death, like it said in the beginning, man, because they're not following the laws and statutes and commandments. And this is our people, man. Our people greatly. We know these heathens wasn't going to do it, but our people greatly, man. I'm talking about Yasharala as a whole. So they're going to be taken out mainly, okay? But he's he's got it out for these other nations too, man. That's what this is speaking of also, okay? 24, but his laws have they despised and denied his covenant and his statutes have they not been faithful and have not performed his works, Okay? And that's why we're getting the, uh, the just punishment of the Heavenly Father. Like we're getting, man. Okay. He's going to bring storms, tempests, you know, calamities, uprising of nations, people against their kings and rulers. Okay. All this is going on right in front of, front of the dead people's eyes. And when I say the dead people, those that's not in the congregation of the living. All right. And this is for the elect, man. This ain't for nobody else. All right? So with that, I want to say Shalom. And uh, you brothers, be safe, man. You know what I'm saying? Stay in the path of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Shalom.